Hey there, uh, what's going on everyone? Earthmaster here, December 6th, 2017, 7.30 p.m. here on the West Coast. And I'm going to do a quick video update here, earthquake video update, in regards to some activity in Southern California, along with the uh, wildfires that are going on down there. Uh, they're having some increased earthquake activity now, uh, just earlier today. Now, I mentioned in one of my videos, actually my video last night, that we are watching for some increased activity along the west coast due to the slow slip event movements that are going on uh, right now underneath the Cascadia subduction zone there. This here is a look at the last three hours and we can see that the activity is continuing in the confined region of central Oregon. Go back 12 hours and we can see the, uh, well, the cluster of red dots there indicating some uh, slow slippage underneath that plate right there. Uh, ultimately, we have not seen this type of activity in the Central Oregon region uh, in quite some time. Normally, we'll see the slow slip events uh, up here to the north, near Seattle and, and northward, and also down here in Southern Oregon and Northern California. Uh, but as I mentioned, we're seeing renewed activity in Central Oregon. And we can go back two days there and you can see large scale movement up and down the Cascadia subduction zone region from Vancouver Island all the way down to Northern California. But the cluster that worries me is the uh, activity that's going on here northwest of Eugene. Large scale, lots of activity. Um, and that's, that's kind of got me worried. That's why last night I issued a earthquake watch uh, for increased pressure when you got this whole subducting region uh, showing some signs of movement, that's going to apply pressure in all directions um, from the from the pressure building up here. We did see some activity being picked up in Yellowstone National Park with some a little bit of small earthquake activity. Also, um, now I should say today, we've seen the activity down in Southern California down there near San Diego. You can see right there, a uh, um, couple blue squares there. I'll show you a little bit uh, more detail here on the fault system here in a minute. But uh, this is close to Julian, California. If you notice they had a couple small twos prior to that 4.0. And then they uh, had ultimately quite a few aftershocks following that uh, 4.0 there. All within the same region there on the southern section of the San Andreas Fault System down there. We'll take a look. Looks like a, a pretty recent earthquake right now with that red dot there in Northern California near Rancho Tehima in Northern California. Uh, let's get a little bit better view here and I'll show you guys the fault system. But uh, definitely, I issued uh, an earthquake watch. Now, 4.0 is nothing big, but we are seeing some increased activity uh, along the west coast as expected following that uh, slow slippage uh, with the Cascadia subduction zone there. Let's zoom in here a little bit and take a, a better detail of where this activity has occurred. Now, I guess it's off of the San Andreas Fault System down there. But still, nonetheless, some increased pressure. This big, thicker red line is the southern section of the San Andreas Fault Zone. The one that they're worried about. This one down here, I guess, is really close. Let's see if we can zoom in and get a better detail of where this is at. Kind of not on any fault system, but they have a complex spider web of fault systems down there. You know that ultimately... It just seems like one big cookie that's about to crumble uh, and just break apart all at once. That's kind of what what Southern California reminds me of. This is here, Ellensnor Fault Zone, Earthquake Valley Fault, Julian section. You know, so ultimately this is a, a fault system down here. But nonetheless, any kind of activity on any type of fault system around a super fault system like the San Andreas fault system over here near the uh, Salton Sea region, which is roughly about, uh, on a scale, we're looking at maybe what, 
60, 70 miles or so. Somewhere in there between the uh, this fault system and the San Andreas fault system over here, the portion that's locked. Uh, but nonetheless, definitely some activity going on today and we are definitely keeping an eye on it. Like I say, a little small earthquake up here in Northern California. As far as Yellowstone activity goes today, uh, a little bit of activity. Nothing swarming, uh, but you can see a little spike there of an earthquake. Uh, ignore the little blue bumps. Those are some type of interference, but this red one right here and this red one uh, indicating some localized earthquake activity there in the region. And uh, of course that's to be expected with the, uh, the pressure being applied there from the west, that subducting area, uh, slow slippage event there and just a confined region there and that's that's worrisome very worrisome uh, so we'll keep an eye on it guys I did want to point out the activity in Southern California today um, and we will continue to watch it nothing major but uh, you never know four-pointer three-pointer could turn into something much more uh, major and that's all I need down there you know they got the wildfires there uh, north of that region uh, I don't think a big earthquake down there would be uh, too good for them anyway guys uh, we'll chat at you later there's that 2.7 I believe near Rancho Tehima I believe let's double check that once again there's that little red square being picked up on the Mendocino station there so 2.6 near Rancho Tehima Reserve in Northern California uh, ultimately showing up on the seismograph right there in Mendocino, California. That's this station right here. Uh, so I'm surprised it picked it up. That's kind of cool. It's a ways away from uh, the station, but nonetheless, 2.6 being picked up on that station there. All right, guys. Uh, we'll chat at you all later. Stay safe out there.